the word personally of an upcoming auction. It's a Ty Cobb card, and it's one of four known in existence. It's graded. It's a grade four. I think it's graded through SGC. It's a Ty Cobb. Um, they call it the Baltimore Newsboy. I think I have some pictures of it I'm going to throw up on here. Pretty interesting. This card, only one of four in existence. Um, so it's 10 times more rare than the Onus Wagner card. This guy, Ty Cobb, is obviously well-known. as one of the greatest baseball players of all time. Not the greatest guy ever in terms of like personality. It's pretty widely reported that Ty Cobb had issues in terms of um, racism, over competitiveness to the point that he was kind of violent. I think he was actually kicked out of the league for a small amount of time. So those things kind of cloud him in terms of image. But in terms of ball player, Ty Cobb is right there as one of the greatest ever with Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Onus Wagner, all these players from this era. So this Newsboy card, it's one of four. Onus Wagner is one of 56 or one of 50. Why is the Onus Wagner going for a 1.6 to $2 million or whatever the valuation will be of the next one that comes out? Um, in this card, I think the last one in auction went for 150000 Like I said, there's only three other ones out there. Like, you would have to expect that the valuation of a card of a legendary Hall of Famer, of somebody of a card with that amount of rarity within the pre-war era, and it's also the highest graded card known to existence. And if we're going to play the calculation game, I don't know how many more of these cards are going to come out of the wild in this condition or better. So I know that auction's coming up. I don't know the auction house. It's not golden. It's somebody else. But I, I will be interested to watch it and see what it does in terms of valuation and price. Um, I think... My personal prediction is that it'll go north of five, six hundred thousand. It wouldn't shock me if it went north of a million, but the reason why that it would likely not is because it doesn't have the narrative behind it. Onus Wagner is the card, right? The 52 Tops Mantle is the card. It has those types of signals and brand recognition of those cards to collectors. So we'll be interested. I, I want to watch that auction and see where it goes.